Yo, what's good, everybody? In today's video, I decided to make a quick explanation video on the July PlayStation Cup because this is like the a brand new way that Fortnite has ever done the PlayStation Cup from before. There's four separate qualifiers instead of just there being like one qualifier one day, and that's basically all you get. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be reading the blog post to you guys, and I'm going to be quickly just explaining like how these things are actually going to be working. So what the blog post says is we're shaking things up and offering a PlayStation Cup in every week of July. You'll have an opportunity to compete in three qualifier cups starting on july 7th for a chance at a three two hundred thirty thousand dollar prize pool which will accumulate in the fortnite playstation cup finals on july 24th so that's basically like the gist of it so there is three separate qualifiers now with three separate like lightning type game modes i forgot to say this in the beginning of the video but please subscribe to the channel if you guys are new we're trying to hit 30,000 subs by the end of the year the support on the channel has been crazy recently we're about 800 subs away from 25k so if you guys want to help me get to 25k sub up to the channel if you guys are new we're trying to hit 25k by the end of july so if you guys want to support me sub up to the channel make sure that you guys use code kidog in the item shop if you want to support me even more it's the best way to support me it'll let us help me out a lot more you guys think without further ado though let's get straight into this video all right so if we read a little bit more into this it says only eligible players on ps4 ps5 consoles can participate in the fortnite playstation cups each qualifier will feature a different game mode and players will have the opportunity to compete for a spot in the playstation cup finals taking place on july 24th so fortnite playstation cup qualifier one will feature an architect mode enabling players to edit all player built structures including enemy structures fortnite playstation cup qualifier 2 will feature a starting loadout mode where all players will drop with a predetermined loadout and fortnite playstation cup qualifier 3 will feature a traditional solo competitive offering with building so basically um there's three separate qualifiers qualifier one is the architect mode where you can edit other people's builds and everything like that and basically what you have to do to qualify for the uh like big finals is you have to actually place top 33 in that to qualify for the finals qualifier two is also the top 33 players and that one is in the actual starting loadout mode where basically you start with like a blue striker a aug and an smg and like minis and a flopper i'm pretty sure so like that's where you just start off with a loadout and then the qualifier three is just regular qualifiers but the top 34 players advance from that so i'm not really sure how that works actually i just realized i'm kind of dumb um 33 plus 33 33 plus 34 is 100 so that's why they're doing the top 34 players and the regular mode actually make it to the finals I'll be making a whole bunch of videos on how you can actually qualify for this so if you guys want to stay up to date with that and just be prepared for it this guy channel if you guys are new use code kedog and then i'm shopping on support even more watch the rest of this video out all the way through though if you guys just want to support me even more that would really mean a lot to me hope you guys enjoyed it though hope you guys learned something from this catch you next time peace out